Hi, Mama. Hi, everyone. And we are back with a day three activity. And it's less of an activity and more of a game that we are going to do today. And it is super fun. This game has a lot of benefits for a child. So let me tell you a few and then get started. The first foremost benefit that we have with this game is problem solving skills in a child. It helps in memory. It helps in concentration and observation skills. Fine motor skills like eye and hand coordination. It teaches a child to be patient and the most important cognitive developmental skills in a child. Yes, moms, this one single game has many benefits. So, did you guess it? If not, let me ask Shaina. Shaina, can yes. you tell me the name of this game? Yes, Lippint. Mom, have you heard the word called Lippint? Yes, it is the actual version of the game called Maze. Yes, you're right. I'm talking about maze. But let me tell you a few historical facts how maze came into existence. Maze came into existence due to the game called Labyrinth. Labyrinth is in many shapes and patterns where the person has to reach the center of it and come back vice versa without any obstacles. That's the reason this game was very simple, which was further made into a more complicated way divided into many more ways to reach the center or any other goal of a game and that's how maze came into existence. That's what made the historian thing to make it more complicated so it can help the further generations in many more ways. So let's get started with our today's activity and let me know what you think about it. So this activity of maze you would need a stencil sheet which is free to download from the description link that I'll be mentioning in my channel. Other than that, you would need cardboard sticks which have numbers that has to be cut and placed. You would need a small little tin or anything that's small that can be inserted on the mobile box like I have taken and I have cut. So this is the place where the ball is supposed to go. So I have going to use that tin box. Other than that, you would need your glue stick or glue. Basically mom, this activity would surely need your little patience because it's going to take a little while. Instead of using these cardboard sticks, you can also use straws. That would become very easy for you and quick. The reason why I'm doing this little challenging time taking maze is because it's very important at times to make things a little complicated. The complicated the game is, the better it is to challenge the child. The better it is to make them play it. The better it is to make them think how to go about it. And it's better to encourage them in a game way to do something that can be a challenge for them which they do not know about. But they would surely learn something. So let's get started.